Hello, and welcome to the Chiaroscuro Jazz Podcasts. I'm George Graham, Director of Artistry and Repertoire for the Venerable Jazz Label, which was established in 1970 and features over 100 titles by some of the world's great jazz musicians. This time we feature pianist, vocalist, and band leader Jay McShann, who was a durable figure in the jazz world, starting in the 1930s with a 61-year recording career playing well into his 80s before passing away in 2001 at the age of 90. He's known as one of the architects of the Kansas City jazz sound, and also is known for leading the first band that included jazz legend Charlie Parker. McShann was featured prominently in the documentary Last of the Blue Devils about the Kansas City jazz scene. James Columbus McShann was a native of Muskogee, Oklahoma, and was a largely self-taught pianist who picked up the instrument after watching his sister's piano lessons. One of the distinctive features of many of Chiaroscuro's CD releases are the jazz-speak tracks, in which the artists talk about their music in their own words. Here's Jay McShann talking about his early influences and experiences, including listening to pianist Earl Father Hines. We had an old piano there at the house, so I just started fooling around on the piano. I guess I must have been about 12, 13, something like that. My folks used to give my sister piano lessons, and I would go with my sister sometimes to take her lessons. And then the teacher that was teaching, I found out one day she had a pot of beans on in the kitchen, and my sister was having a, oh, so much trouble, you know, trying to play a whatever it was, some kind of little passage up there in the music book. So when she left out of there, I sneaked over there and told my sister, I said, here's where it goes, and I played it for her. So the old lady was in the kitchen. She said, that's what I've been trying to get you to do all the time. Yeah, that's exactly what I've been trying to get you to do. So when Miss Ayers came back out, she says, okay, now play that over for me. (laughs) And my sister, she was lost. She started, she said, now wait, now she says, now you played that while ago, I heard you from the kitchen. She said, no, that was my brother. (laughs) So the old lady says, no, she told my mother, says, no, you don't don't send that boy uh, back with the girl because he's getting a free lesson. But she says, I'd be glad to give him lessons. She said, but but my mother says, well, says, you know, boys, they ain't going to do nothing but (laughs) leave home, jump up and He's run off or whatnot. So my mother says, no, we're not going to waste no money on him. So I didn't get any piano lessons. I knew Earl Hines was broadcasting always on the weekend, and sometimes he might do it four or five times a week. And I would make it my business to catch those Earl Hines broadcasts, which came on about 11.30, and so I always had a story for the folks. I would tell them I'm going to do some tough studying tonight, you know, I said, because i got to have this ready for tomorrow. So then the next night I'd come up with another story. <laughs> but I knew to keep those stories different, you know. And so they never said anything. They never said anything one way or the other. And so I'd be sitting in there listening to Earl Hines when he'd come on. This guy would holler, Father Hines, Father Hines, Father Hines. I think he'd start plinking on the piano. And I thought that was the greatest sound I ever heard. It just gassed me. Back in those days, you had to use your imagination and listen to this guy hollering Father Hines from the Grand Terrace Ballroom, such and such a street, and so on. Jay McShann talking about some of his early influences. McShann recorded five albums for Chiaroscuro between 1979 and 1997, including two recorded on jazz cruises at sea. Here is one from 1991, a solo performance of the classic Georgia on My Mind with McShann's unmistakable blues touch.
Georgia, Georgia. Oh, love, sweet sound. Just a song of you keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia on my mind is Georgia. Georgia. Oh, love, sweet song. Comes as sweet and clear as the moonlight. The pine of the arms reach out to me, of the eyes smile tenderly. Still in peaceful dreams, I see that the road leads back to you. Is Georgia, Georgia? There's no peace I'm gonna find. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Jay McShann recorded in 1991 aboard the SS Norway with Georgia on My Mind from the Chiaroscuro release, My Baby with a Black Dress On. Now here's more from Jay McShann's Jazz Speak. I made up my mind I left and went to Kansas City. I was on one job with a guy named Essie Henderson. He was one of the older cats, you know, played the guitar. I think he might have had a banjo in there. He'd reach and get his banjo sometimes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, well, they had about five pieces out to another job. Art Bronson was on piano with them. That's going back. See, Kansas was dry. And Kansas being dry, these little clubs spring up. But when they raid the club, you out of a job. That was the bad news. But good news was as long as everything was going along without a raid, everything was beautiful. When I first got to Kansas City, I got a job with an old-timer, and his name was Elmer Hopkins. Well, I had had a little bit of a big band experience with the guy in Tulsa because he had about 14, 15 pieces, and I kind of thought I liked that. Actually, I worked with Dee Stewart until his regular piano player came back in town. And after his regular piano player came back in town, well, then I went to another joint called Wolf's Buffet. 
Now that's where I started working with Joe Turner. That's when I got a chance to play the blues. Then being around Kansas City, then you hearing Pete Johnson. You hear Pete Johnson and Joe Turner together. I mean, those guys. Joe would tell Pete to roll them, Pete. You know, well, Pete would play about 20 minutes. Just steady rolling them. And then Joe would sing about 20 minutes. Then they'd turn right back around, tell him to roll them again, Pete. Pete would roll them about another 10 or 15 minutes. And Joe would sing another 10 or 15 minutes. Then we go out. So now that's the first set. One hour. There's intermission. <laughs> One number. <laughs> Jay McShann from a Kiaroscuro Jazz Speak track. Now here's McShann from an album called Hootie, which was his nickname, also recorded at Sea. This features Phil Woods as a special guest on alto sax, Keeter Betts on bass, and Jackie Williams on drums. The tune is Cupid Doll. <laughs> Don't you remember me? Now the time ain't been so long But I had a little old break Now you can see Well, she lives three flights up And she sends me with a smile Well, you know she calls me a lover Yes, and a beggar too Yes, and a 
Jay McShann with an original called Cupid Doll with Phil Woods on alto sax, Keeter Betts on bass, and Jackie Williams on drums. It's from the Chiaroscuro album called Hootie. Jay McShann's Kansas City band included many influential players at various times, including Ben Webster, Al Hibbler, Gene Ramey, vocalist Jimmy Witherspoon, and most famously, alto saxophonist Charlie Parker. McShann relates his version of the way Charlie Parker got his nickname, Bird, was that one night when driving from a gig, the driver of the car he was in hit a chicken, and Parker insisted that the car be stopped, the deceased bird be picked up, and Parker carried it to the place where they were staying so it could be cooked. Here's Jay McShann and another story relating to Charlie Parker. 
little hands. He put the squeeze on me. He's, he's got about four or five guys out of the band at one time. He says, now, who's the guy playing first, I told him. Well, uh... He says, who's the guy singing? I told him. So he said, well, I'll tell you what. He says, he said, I got five guys I want out of this man. He says, and um, I'm going to tell you, if they owe you any money, you let me know, I'll give you the money, whatever they owe you. He said, because I'm going to get them anyway. He said, I've got the money to get them, and I'll get them. I said, I said well, okay. I said, if number one, let's start out with Bird. Bird owe me more than anybody. Let's get him out of the way first. <laughs> so that's the way we did it. <laughs> Jay McShann had a long-running association with pianist Ralph Sutton, and they often referred to themselves as whorehouse pianists. They made two albums together for Chiaroscuro, both called Last of the Whorehouse Piano Players, one in 1979 and one 10 years later. Later, here's a track from each. First, Honky Tonk Train Blues from 1979, and then Four Day Rider from 1989. Both feature Milt Hinton on bass and Gus Johnson on drums. Thank you. 
you want to see me ride. Yeah, I'm a full day rider, baby. Where do you want to see me ride? Well, I'm once in your saddle, mama. You never want me from your side. Jay McShann and Ralph Sutton on pianos from the two Last of the Whorehouse Piano Player albums from Chiaroscuro. First, Honky Tonk Train Blues from 1979, and then Four Day Rider from 1989, both featuring Milt Hinton on bass and Gus Johnson on drums. Let's wrap up with Jay McShann from the 1990 recording called Some Blues, which features Clark Terry on trumpet and Al Gray on trombone, with Major Holly on bass and Bobby Durham on drums. Here's Jumpin' Blues, a tune McShann wrote with Charlie Parker. Thank you. 
The music of Jay McShann on piano with Clark Terry on trumpet, Al Gray on trombone, Major Holly on bass, and Bobby Durham on drums from the Chiaroscuro album called Some Blues. All these recordings are available on Chiaroscuro Records. For more information, go to chiaroscurojazz.org. The music is available on CD as a download and streaming on Spotify. And you can listen to continuous jazz from the over 100 albums available on Chiaroscuro 24 hours a day on the Chiaroscuro channel, available at the new and improved Chiaroscuro Jazz website. This is George Graham. Thanks for joining us for this Chiaroscuro podcast, and join us next time for more music from great jazz musicians.